Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we are very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to meet this blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all good deeds in this holy month. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, lift from uh, humanity this um, pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. And may life resume as per normal. Amin ya Rabbal Alamin. Brothers and sisters in Islam, as we all know, that this pandemic, COVID-19, is really unprecedented. It is the first one occurring among uh, humanity after World War II, and it, it has caused a lot of uh, troubles among people that, to the extent that uh, the poor will be, the, the poor will, will be much more affected than the rich people in this world. And it's going to be a lopsided effect. Uh, and many people complain that uh, this pandemic actually uh, caused a lot of hardships. And there is a lot of signs that the economic uh, outlook after this pandemic will be not so good, right? Uh, some say that we're going to face a uh, economic downturn, like the uh, Great Depression in the late 20s and early 30s. We still do not know. Hopefully, it will not be that impactful, but for sure, there will be some negative impact on uh, the global economy. So, uh, a lot of negative outlooks, a lot of negative impacts on this COVID-19. But people sometimes overlook the, the fact that for everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed upon people, upon, upon humanity, there are some good things, right? Um, there are lessons to be learned. There are positive things that we can look to uh, so that uh, we, we will not be so stressed if we just look into the negative part of, of every calamity, every disaster, we'll be stressed. But we try to be more positive in our outlook. And therefore, this video, right, I would like to share with you some of the positive aspects of, of the pandemic. COVID-19, right, uh, that we are facing right now. Uh, enough said about the negative impacts. Let's look at the positive impacts. We can see, right, the, the positive impacts of this pandemic on first, the, our social life, number two, the economy, number three, the environment, and number, po number four, the political aspect of, of uh, humanity. Now, let's look at Number one, the, the social, the positive impact on the social life of, of humanity. Right now, as I'm talking right now, a lot of countries are in lockdown, including Singapore, although we don't call it as lockdown, we call it as a circuit breaker, but it is essentially almost like a lockdown, right? Uh, restricting people's movement, um, business are being closed, except for those essential, essential uh, businesses uh, and uh, uh, those uh, remain open, but the rest are, are closed. And people are being, being uh, asked to stay in homes. And if you look at the whole world right now, we have close to about 4.3 billion people who are in lockdown, people who can't move about, right? people who are trapped in their houses or their dwellings or whatever places they are being, they are being quarantined. Um, we have about close to 7 billion people on this planet Earth right now, around that, 7 billion. So if you take 4.3 billion, it is more than half of humanity being locked down. They can't move about. And we have, of course, when people are locked down, right, uh, there are, of course, mental implications, right, uh, because people are created to move about. And that is why we can see human beings on every crooks and corners of this world, we can't find any other creatures, big creatures, mammals, right, that can, that occupy almost the whole corners of this, this earth, from the highest mountain to the lowest plain, from the coldest region to the hottest places, from deep in the jungle to the middle of the desert to the most isolated island. We can find human beings. We, we are scattered all over the world. Why? Because we are created to move about. We migrated, right? 
we we even occupied uh, Central America, Amazon jungle, tens of thousands of years ago, right? About maybe about ten thousand years ago, we have already humanity is already there. We can find civilizations. We can find people living in the jungle. So we are created to move about. We are created to be mobile. So when when people are being cooped up in one place for a long period of time, of course there are mental implications, uh, impacts actually on the mind. Um, so a lot of those things are, are of course negative. So what, what what can we look at the positive part of of this uh, COVID nineteen pandemic on on social life? First and foremost, right, we can see that because due to the fact that we are very mobile, we like to move about, we don't like to be confined in one area, and therefore sometimes the family ties suffered, right, because of that. Some people hardly meet their families for weeks, for days, sometimes, right. Some parents wouldn't meet their children, right, uh, on a regular basis. Some people are being considered as just weekend parents, something like that, because because they are so busy with their work life, right? They will go out really in the morning with their children, and then they will come back late at night, and their children already prepared to go to sleep, and they can only have their family activities during weekends. So this enforced quarantine or confinement in houses, right, force people to rethink their priorities in life to relook at the dynamics of their social life right not just with their friends but with their family members because sometimes we prioritize friends over our family members we forget that blood is thicker than water right whatever it is our family members come first and in islam if we pass away right our friends will not inherit our wealth however close we are to our friends. But our family members will inherit our properties. However um, frayed the relationship is, however weak the relationship is, however horrible the relationship is, the fact that families come first. So this COVID-19 pandemic actually forced us to relook at the dynamics of our life, the social dynamics of our life. Our priorities, which one we prioritize more? Our children? our friends, our spouses, or our best friend, our parents, or others than our parents. So, so we have to look into that, right? And um, it forced us to rethink our priorities in life, right? Uh, and therefore, hopefully, uh, with this enforced uh, quarantine in houses right uh, we can get closer to our family members that is the something that that is not just achievable but something that is desirable it shouldn't be that when we are in, we are with, together with our families days and nights and together we can't move around we can't meet our friends except through social media and then we start to long our friends more than our family members or sometimes people will uh, release the attention of family members if these are the, the outcome of the enforced stay at home, right, uh, on us, then that is something that we should rethink. That is something that we should uh, actually uh, try to overcome. Because that is not desirable outcome of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually wants to see us when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees that we cannot move around, right? And that is number one. Number two, we are so busy with our life, we are so busy uh, looking for Allah's rizq, right? Uh, earning our, our income, right, uh, maintaining our social life, right, uh, chasing after our, our worldly dreams, we forget the one who created us, the one who provides everything for us. And therefore, our relationship with our creator suffered. 
when we prioritize our world more than the creator we prioritize the creation more than the creator and therefore this enforced staying at home right is actually quite beneficial for us if we take it in a positive stride we have a lot of plenty time uh, plenty of time in our our hand free time in our hand rather than longing and lounging around sitting in front of the television wasting our time away playing games watching videos this and that why not we spend our free time to repair our relationship with our creator to strengthen our relationship with our creator especially in this holy month of ramadan right this is the time that we can devote some of our time to learn how to recite the Quran to to uh, uh, increase our devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through prayers through through salat right through zikr through reading of uh, religious books that can increase our iman and can bring uh, insaf in us these are the beneficial activities that we can engage right to repair to a man and to strengthen our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this covid-19 is something like like um, a pause button that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for us muslims right Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala press this button and everything has to be paused why because Allah wants us to go back to him to reflect on our actions to repair our relationship with him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah adh-dhariyat fafirru ila Allah and go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah is calling us to him especially in this holy month of Ramadan right so use this opportunity if all the free time that we have right right now in our home to increase our devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rather than sulking around waiting for this this pandemic to be over or waiting for this circuit breaker to be over right hoping upon hoping that we can travel back go back our life as per normal that will come inshallah in due course right when is it we leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but what is important for us is to take this advantage right now this precious moment that we have right now to repair relationship between us and our family members number 2 to repair our relationship with our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so use this time wisely okay, instead of wasting our time away sitting at home doing nothing now that this is social that is the positive impact uh, upon our social life and also our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's look at the positive impact of this pandemic on the economy people said there is no positive impact right the economy is suffering people cannot work the fact that economy is moving is because people can work people can move around goods can be transported here and there right there are a lot of economic activities going around that's where the economic uh status of the country can can be elevated but now people cannot move around many of the essential businesses are non essential businesses are being shut down right what are there's not even a single positive impact of the economy if you look at that aspect then we are surely very very wrong why because because like i said everything has its positive side a coin had its two sides negative the head and the face and therefore right every issues every uh, calamities disasters there are good things that we can we can take if we learn the lessons if we if we reflect we stop and reflect and therefore right even though this pandemic has caused a lot of uh, businesses to 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 cease and to stop economy is is going down in most countries and we yes, we're going to expect uh economic downturn next year or maybe towards the end of as least towards the end of this year right but this pandemic is actually forcing us to relook at the mechanism of the global economy what are our priorities in life actually what are the important aspects of of our economy that we should stress upon 
what are those non important aspects of the economy that we should put at, a little bit at the fringe how fragile our financial situation is right now right a little bit of pandemic and our financial uh, economy will be in ruin is that the case if that is the case then that is our economic model right our financial model is not that sound so we need to look into that also so all these things actually cause us to relook at how we run our world how we run our economy right and and uh, this pandemic so so is forcing us right to relook back at how we do our businesses doesn't have to do it physically we can cut costs we can do it through online we can do it through other means we can prioritize our life right sometimes people wonder look i have been doing this business and this pandemic comes in and my business cannot move right i so we are suffering pause for a while right how long have you been doing this business right is this business being ongoing since your grandfather's time or is this something that is new if let's say no that the opportunity is not been given to you before have will you engage into that economic activity those are the questions and if you can't do it right now what are the things that you can do right to 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 uh, uh earn a living right so we don't have to uh do things as per normal right this pandemics actually is forcing us to be creative right to look into the future to see what are the things that we actually must do what are the things that we should do and what are the things that we can uh out do about right so we can skip it we can actually not focus our attention to it because that is not something that is integral right in the uh new economy or we can say the post covid-19 economy so these are the some of the positive impacts right from the economic st- economy point of view now let's look at the environment this is where we can see the greatest positive impact of this pandemic reports from all over the world have been coming in that when people and when when talk about people as human beings we are the most uh destructive creatures ever walk on planet earth we have the ability to change the world the, the not just the economy the environment of the world we bring so much destruction that other creatures in this world are suffering even the whole world is suffering right now but when this this most destructive creature human beings have been locked down economy have been stopped or slowed down a lot and we can see drastic changes in the environment the world is like repairing itself when the most destructive creatures on this planet has been removed from the stage the world is trying to repair itself and reports have been coming in skies over many of the of cities in this world which has been polluted before the skies in just about less than a month the skies clear up people for example people in in many indian cities bombay for example they couldn't be they couldn't able to see the blue skies throughout the year most of the days of the year they couldn't see right the blue skies but when economic activities have been stopped people have been locked down suddenly the sky started to get clearer and people can see the blue skies the uh, pollution really really went down right and it's going down right now people in in northern state of of india they couldn't see himalayas for most of their life when they are yet people in their 30s their 40s they couldn't imagine that they can see the himalayas from their town from their houses facing the himalayas but right now with this pandemic suddenly they can see the himalayas they were shocked they couldn't imagine that they can see those beautiful majestic mountains from their places from their dwellings why because the air has been cleared up so the environment is actually benefiting from this pandemic right because this pandemic has been 
removing or locking down the most disastrous creatures ever walk on on this planet earth as human beings we can see reports like in venice for example right the water in those venice canals uh, was so murky right you can't even see the bottom of the canal but right now when people are not there tourists are not coming the canals have been clearing up not 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 only people can see the bottom of the canal right those canals but people can see fish thriving in there they can even see even jellyfish swimming in those canals it was wonderful it was amazing people cannot even fathom and think that this thing can happen before but yes the environment is repairing itself right and therefore the question is being asked are we going to learn from all these things or are we going to go back to our old ways right destroying the environment once once this pandemic is over or are we going to relook at our economic activities and take into account the environment in our pursuit of our wealth and money if we go back to our old ways then this pandemic is the waste for humanity people never learn a lesson all right we must be smarter than that right we must take this pandemic to our advantage to the world's advantage try to have a win win situation right we at the same time right we go back to our our pursuit of wealth right increase back our economy but at the same time we we are not forgetting the impact on the environment and whatever activities that we want to do right we take into account the environment itself you know scientists have been uh warning us since 1990s about the climate change right people have to do a lot of things we cannot just take things as as business as per normal right whatever economic activities they are always impact on on the environment carbon dioxide is being increasing in this in our atmosphere right we are going to have a hotter uh, earth right not find the future but near the future less than 50 years time we're going to have a hotter hotter world ice cap will be melting but who's listening yes people know yes people can 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 show their their concern but do people take action hardly so it's only about money it's only about what what can i do that i'm just a, a small person here i will not have much impact right uh, in the environment the 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 big companies the uh, uh, the gov- big governments should do something not us small people if that is our mentality then the whole humanity is a failure right and we can't stop environmental change we can't stop climate disaster right from happening in the near future the big businesses depend on people like us small people if one people change its way of doing things right and this is multiplied by 1 2 million people right in a country of course big governments and big businesses will take into notice and they will adjust right and it all because it all goes back to the consumer and who's the consumer us however small the consumer is however however uh, small the contribution of the the consumer is right to safeguard the environment but if we multiply that and everyone do the same thing there will be huge impact on this on the environment huge impact on the way we do things on how big businesses do things just look at this pandemic for example right if just one person quarantine himself there will be no impact but if let's say almost the whole country quarantine all the, the people in that country quarantine themselves the impact will be huge right so however small our contribution is to safeguard our environment right that plays a big role in the bigger picture so we have to play our role and we have to learn from this lesson we are at home right now we cannot move about easily as as how we want to like in the past right and there has been a lot of positive impact on the environment less cars on the road so less pollution 
being emitted out by those cars so the air is cleaner how can we sustain this clean life right this cleaner life a better way of life for the environment after this pandemic is over that is the question that we should ask ourselves not just sulking around and waiting for this pandemic to be over how can we change our behavior so that we can bring goodness to this world and we brothers and sisters we are the khalifa we are the one who will be entrusted by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take care of this planet earth not to destroy it but we are doing the contrary we are destroying the earth instead of taking care of it so we have to go back to our original mission that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and that is to take care of this earth to be the the caliph of this earth to be the caretaker of this earth and it starts with us how small we are right how little our contribution are, is all these things accumulate together we have a bigger impact on the environment so we should learn from this whatever is happening right right now uh, from from the uh, uh, the positive impact of this pandemic on the environment right we should learn on how to reconfigure our economy our way of life so that we can somehow rather right sustain these positive changes in environment this world is not just for us this world is for other creatures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created to to live on this planet earth from the trees from the animals the flora and fauna this world is also for our grandchildren for generations and generations that come after us we cannot say that oh okay the year kiamat is coming soon so we don't really care about this this planet earth that is a wrong thinking that is not islamic at all right this is not the teaching of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam right the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a hadith that even the kiamat is coming and if you have a seed in your hand you should plant that seed mean that even though that you know that that something very impactful is coming even kiamat is coming you should contribute to the positive side of the environment do something good not just be a, not just a fatalistic view of sitting down right if your arms wrap around your body and not doing anything and just waiting for for kiamat to come that is not islamic at all right so we have to inherit right this earth to our descendants in a more positive shape rather than we give them in a more destructive shape yeah destructive uh, state so we have to do something right we have to change our lifestyle after this right we have to be more environmental friendly we have to recycle more we have to reduce what we consume right because con- uh, the more that we consume the less islamic that we become right uh, we have to uh, rethink and how we do our work or how we do our businesses so that we will not contribute to a lot of wastage right uh, in this world and we know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemn those who like to waste allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in in surah al-isra innal mubadhirin kanu ikhwan ash-shayatin and verily those who like to waste they are the brethren of shaitan so we do not want to be among the shaitans right uh we doing uh wasting a lot of things in, in on in this world right we take what we need and there's it right and whatever we can recycle we recycle whatever we can reduce we reduce our consumption whatever we can reuse we reuse again right and even if people say if you reuse you recycle you going to lessen the the economic contribution of the planet or oh, sorry of the country right because the thing that runs the economy is consumption right the spending power of people yes that's what i said that our economic uh, principles are a little bit faulty here right this is not just about consumption because there's no such thing as endless consumption there are limits to consumption and every consumption will have impact on the environment and we lessen the resources of the of this planet so we have to relook right on our lifestyle and hopefully hopefully 
this pandemic will bring a lot of positive changes in us. After it is over, we become a better person, we become a better community, we become a better country, and hopefully the world will become a better world when the most destructive creatures that walk on this planet Earth, humanity, see human beings, they adjust their lifestyles and they become less destructive. And hopefully we can be more harmonious in, in our relationship with the flora and fauna, and hopefully we can be a better Khalifa, right? Uh, in uh, in taking care of this planet Earth, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al-muslimin wa al-muslimat wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.